Hello everyone, it is me, Hoodie the First, and I'm here to, how to, sh to show you how to get Minimator. Minimator is a program what to make Minecraft animations, and I have been using it to do some stuff, but I haven't uh, shown you guys yet like, what the stuff is. I'll show you guys soon, but not yet. Um, so... As it says, th th this is only for Windows, but I'm going to show you how to get it for Mac, I, and that is a simple way, but not like as simple as it is to get it on Windows, obviously. Mac, you got a Mac, so sadly, you got to deal with it. You got to go the hard way, sadly. But, you know, Macs are still good, so I'll show you guys how to get it on a Mac. So first, you got to get to the website, which is up here. I'll highlight it. I'll unhighlight it. Oh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. If I don't, which is most likely, I probably won't. So I'll try my best to remember. Ah, uh, but you know, no problems. And I just deleted it, didn't I? I just did. So you're gonna want to go here and download Minimator. Okay, so while all that is, oh, it just, it takes a little bit, it doesn't take that long. You're gonna, and then you're gonna want to go to wine, and then wine bottler, or, uh, there's a phone going off. Don't worry about that, just pay attention to me. Uh, wait one second. Okay, I'm back, uh, the phone is off now. Um... Okay, as you can see, I am on another website called Wine Bottler. You probably are like, why am I here? Uh, am I buying wine while I'm doing the recording? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> you're going to want to go to this website because this is... Actu wine Bottler is actually a... Uh, you're going to want to download this one. Uh, download. Wine Bottler is a uh, uh, a application that lets you run Windows stuff, well, some Windows things, on a Mac. So, uh, right now, I uh, you gotta install it. Let you guys do that. Uh, it's a uh, uh, recommended you're currently browsing uh, whatever okay now it has downloaded this actually takes a while to download so while that is downloading you're gonna want to go to your downloads uh, and get Minimator and then bring it to your desktop and then uh, once you're at your desktop you should open it it should be like this go to Minimator and then there should be mine exe Nothing dot zip, and oh, you can uh, see that I have already added some folders. This is Crab Fortress. This is uh, these are things that I've added for some stuff. It, it'll come with this, that, well, like this, this stuff, and the mine dot exe. It, uh, this stuff is just my stuff that I've added. So. Well, actually, no. New intro, it won't uh, come with. That I've also added. I forgot. Um, so, and then you can add skins so that you can have, like, you and your friends in there. Or, uh, or because at first, it's not going to have your skin. You're going to want to get your skin into Minimator by downloading it, like, onto your computer. And, and then putting it into a folder. I've put my friends here and me. Um, so, my, uh, wine is still downloading, but it should pop up as, like, this. You're gonna want to double-click that once wine is done downloading. Uh, and then once that is done, uh, it's opening wine bottler. And then it's gonna want, it, you're gonna pop up with this. Okay, so you're gonna want to drag wine into your applications folder. Not wine bottler, because you don't need that. 
Uh, if you want to, I guess you could. There's a README if you want more information on the wine and wine bottler. I'm not going to go into that because we don't need to. Oh, because this is for mine animator, not wine. Mm -hmm. Then, And then uh, once you got that in your applications folder, then uh, you're going to want to go back to mine animator, and then you're going to go to mine animator exe, and then run directly. Don't use convert into this. Just run directly, and then go. And then you can X out of this if you want. Uh, so it takes a tiny bit to open. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long. It never really takes this long. It's probably because I'm recording, and uh, recording makes the computer a little laggy. Okay, here it's opening now. As you can see, it's wine with the Steve head. Uh, the wa the wine, it's called wine, not Minimator, because, uh, we're running it on wine, not Minimator. So, just taking a little bit to open while, when it gets open, okay, there we go, it is open now. Oh, um, it's just a black screen, okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it sort of glitched it out. Okay, Minimator. Public beta, you, you can read this if you want, uh, but this is beta, so, I'm not even alpha. Okay, so I'll teach you guys how to use this, but it's sort of lagging. Okay, is it not lagging anymore? Okay, with your right click, you can go like this, and then also move around using the WAS keys. Uh, with your left click, you can just look around. You can all, you can you also? No, you can also use W A S, -S keys. Is and then you can adjust your view. And uh, you can't really tell that I'm adjusting my view because uh, I am adjusting the grassy plains, and it's sort of lagging. Okay, so yeah, now you can sort of tell. And now I'm going back and forward and back using the W, N, A, and S, and D keys. And that's just uh, when you're clicking right click. So, and now you're going to be wondering, how do I use my animator? Uh, I'm thinking of putting in a different video. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it, the video is not even that long, so I'll just show you guys how to use it now. So if you guys want to know how to use it, great. Uh, I'll show you now. If you already know how to use it because you use it as a friend's house or something on a Windows, then great. You can just skip this part and start using it and have fun. Just remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, leave a like if you want to see more tutorials. Because I don't really do this that often. I don't do tutorials at all, really. This is like my first time doing a tutorial. Uh, so, but now let me get into uh, actually showing you what to do. So, uh, you add character. And then it should pop up as a little Steve guy. Nice, right? Very nice. Very nice. Right? It's like Steve, right? And if you want to change the skin, you can go, oh, and also if you want to change it to, from being human, you could be like slime, or uh, a zombie pigman. Or like a ghast. If you wanted it to be gassed. Uh, but uh, I'm going to stick to the, you know, uh, let's actually, oh, and look, uh, this is from Pyroland, the uh, little baby guys. <laughs> okay, I think we should just stick to human, because human is the basic one, obviously. Well, maybe I'll add more guys. Uh, and then, if you want changes of what they look like, as I said, download the your skin and put it into the skids folder. Well, there, this is default. Um, go browse. 
then I'll bring up the Minimator thing, and you go to skins, and then if you put it in here, if you made a new folder, then go to the folder. I'm just going to make it Kill Brian, just to say that it worked, and it did. See? Now his eyes have turned completely blank white, and I'm going to name him Hero Brian. And you do that over here at the name. So now we have Hero Brian, and, and uh, he doesn't really have anything to do. But, yeah. So if you want to position him, like to do something, you go here to the first thing, and then this is your little character up here, like how they move. You could select the arm, you could select the head just so that his head moves. But you can select just his hat, but Hero Brian doesn't have a hat, so. I'm just gonna go to his bo The body, by the way, moves his body, his arms, and his head. Not just the plain old body. So, I'm gonna go to all. Actually, no. I'm gonna go to his uh, right arm, right arm. I'm gonna go to positioning. And then I'm going to go to rotation as well. Uh, uh, rotation is just like how it fits. Oh, wait, oops. Uh, you could use these things, which I think are easier than this. Because this is just a lot crazier. And I am lagging. <laughs> and you could hear a lawn mowing, because people are mowing lawns. As normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's normal. Okay, now, see? His arm has moved. Uh, which took a while. Because uh, it is laggy. And he has done a 360. Uh, I'm going to move it back. As I said, this one is a little more tricky to use than this. So you might want to... And this, uh, these arrows are for positioning, and you can just move his arm right off. And I think I glitched it. I didn't glitch it, I think it's just lagging still. It normally wouldn't be this laggy. I know. It's just my computer is being laggy because I am recording. So look, positioning, and then I don't think I can get it back on where it was. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Okay, let me see. If I, I can also use... Oh my gosh! I can also use uh, another thing for positioning. Oh my... Yeah, you know what? Press OK to say that you're done. With that now, Hero Brand's arms over there. And Hero Brand started to cap. And then I'm going to remove Hero Brian. Yay, removing. I taught you guys a new thing. That was all part of my plan. Now I'm just going to add uh, a character. I'm going to add me. Because me might be a little less laggy. Nope, just kidding. It's not going to be less laggy, is it? Oh, me. Uh, open. Go there. Um, now you can see that I've added myself, which is way better than representing Hero Brian. And then I can, I'm going to add a item, and that item will be an iron sword. No, it'll be an, an iron axe, an iron axe. Um, and as you can see, everything spawns right there. Add another thing, and then I'm going to add a zombie, so that uh, I could show you guys like a little bit of animation. Animating a, I should have used zombie or zombie pigment. I don't know what the zombie is. Oh, there it is. It's right in the human. Okay. Okay, and zombie is just like human. Like his arms aren't even sticking out. It just has a different texture. Like, if you had the zombie skin and human, you wouldn't even need zombie. So, then, 
Uh, you might want to name these guys so you don't get tracked, but since there's only three, I don't need it. So I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna go position him. The zombie. Okay, this is a little laggy. Okay. And that was just his arm. Now it's time for the undo button. Undo. Yay, we did it. If you're going to move the whole thing, just make sure you select who, what part you want to move when you're doing this, because that is very critical. Okay, I'm, then I'm going to turn him around. Okay, there. That looks good. Then let me click on his arms and choose them to move upwards. There we go. I, I'm just going to keep it like that because I'm too lazy to do the rest. And I'm pretty sure since I'm really laggy, I'm going to move it up too much. This one, I'll, yeah, see, I told you, I'll just keep it like that, yeah, great, that actually does look good, um, okay, now I'm gonna go to my character, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna go to item one, move it this way, move, oh, Okay, that doesn't make sense, but that makes sense. Hmm. Nothing is making sense. I, I, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I just don't know! Stupid freaking axe! Uh, the axe is now on the floor, I hope. That looks close enough. No, I'm not going to check, because this is just for to show you guys. Um, it's just a test. Just a test. Okay. Now, that's the first frame. And everyone is all in place. And then... Well, but let, me, let me make them an area to be in. To add an area for them to be in, a scenery, you got to go add. You could do item or scenery. Scenery is just a quicker way. Uh, and then you can edit type to item if you wanted it to be an item. But, you know, you don't want it to be an item. You want it to be a scenery. Okay, then we got to go to cinematic, none loaded. That means we got to load a cinematic. Okay. Let's, and then let's go to the cinematics folder. Uh, uh, let's go to grassy field. And then open. And then in just a second, it's loading. Just wait until it has loaded. Probably everything is going to be in the ground, but then we're going to have to fix that. Just a little. Just a little. Oh, I accidentally did something. Wait one second while I... Okay, I got it. I fixed it. And now uh, it has loaded. Didn't take that long. But, yeah, as you can see, they're in the ground and the axe is not even there anymore. That means we gotta go to... You can either move them up a little, or you can go to scenery and move it down a little. Yeah, you, you just saw the major lag that is here. There. And I think the grass is a little on the ground, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. Uh huh. Okay, now let's go to my character again. 
Let's do this. Make him turn other way. Doesn't matter though because he'll turn. He won't turn like. Actually, I'm pretty sure he actually will. He'll see the axe. Oh, oh wow. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. You're, gonna, you're probably going to see my guy spaz out. Which I wouldn't blame him because there's a friggin' zombie trying to kill him. It's morning, so he should be burning, but he's not. Because oh, he's silly. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh, damn. I thought that would happen. Did he say I stop? No, 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 no. Just, just freaking st stupid stuff. Finally, and then the, the, this frame. I'm not even gonna make a walking animation because that's gonna take way too long. Because I just want to show you guys how to use this sim. I'm not even going to say simple. This program. Oh, gosh. This is so lucky. Why does quick time player lag so much? Finally. Okay. This is probably going to look really weird, but he's just going to go on fast. Yay! And then at this time... And then you can also drag the frame so that they're at a different time if you put them in the wrong place. But I didn't do that because this thing is super laggy. Let me drag this one. Okay, there, as you can see, it has dragged very, 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 very slowly. Okay. At that frame. Uh, oh, wait, let me go to uh, character one. Instances. I'm <sighs> oh okay that's to take something off the board if you just want to stay there the whole time and you don't want to edit it okay you're gonna want him to pick it up and I'm just gonna fling it at him and you're gonna see that because this is super laggy. It's not really the best. It's not really the best for a tutorial. Yeah. And it's gonna... It's, 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 it's gonna do that. And then, let's just say he picked it up. He picked it up. He picked it up. Picked it up. And then the zombie is going to die. Zombie is going to plunge into the earth. Yeah, oh. Yay. And then that is our cinematic. I'm going to watch it from bird's eye view. And you can see that the axe is turning back to its normal state for some weird reason. It's taking so long because the laggy 
mess with my recorder. And there's a fly. Hooray! Ah, uh, stupid fly is getting in the house for some weird reason. Oh, you stupid fly. Okay, there. Then my guy spazzes out the zombie. He's going into the ground because he's a zombie. Then I go over there. And then I, I guess I, I look at it. But then I realize the zombie is now in the ground. So I don't grab it. You could obviously do a lot better stuff than what I just did. But that is just a little example of what you could do because I my computer is way too laggy at the moment maybe if I got a better recorder which I think I'm going to soon um, it will probably be a way better recorder and once that happens I will be able to show you guys a whole bunch of cool stuff and you guys will love it uh... give my uh, video a thumbs up if you guys uh... liked the video and you want more mac tutorials if you want more mac tutorials give it a thumbs up i will do more mac tutorials if we get how about Five to ten likes. Like, I don't know, a lot of views. Sure, whatever. If you give it a like, then I'll give you more Mac tutorials. Okay, guys? So, give the video a like, a thumbs up, and, uh, and don't comment, but, and if you watch the whole video, then comment below, uh, Minimator is as slow as Mater. I don't know how to spell Mater, but try your best. It's M A T O R. Yeah. Mator. So, yeah, guys. See you guys later. Oh, it's playing itself again. Because, really, it took that long? The thing is, not even 35 seconds. I don't even know how... Obviously, this thing has got its timing wrong. Well, bye guys. I'll see you guys another day.